Hi, welcome to Nishcraft. My name is Cassie and I'm your host. And I just wanted to address a question that was asked um, on my channel today. Um, some of you guys are asking, when are you going to do your drawing for the giveaway and everything? Well, um, originally I would have done that yesterday <laughs> because I hit 250 on um, the day before that. But what happened yesterday is that I had been having some problems with my back and I had gone to the, the doctor at around, oh, I think it was like in the afternoon. And right after I got done with the doctor, I went to get the kids. And then after that, um, when we were home and everything, then the tornado siren started going off. And so I was in hiding <laughs> from a tornado, from a big bag tornado, during the time that I would have um, picked the winner. So <laughs> I apologize for that, but safety does come first. And as entertaining as it might have been for me to pick a winner from a tornado shelter, I just decided that I would do it today instead. Um, and plus, you guys would have just thought that I was hysterical. Well, some of you guys would have because um, they had given me an injection of something that made me feel loopy and they had giving me some muscle relaxers and, and everything. And I'm still feeling a little weird today, but not as bad as I was yesterday because I was just, um, apparently my back needs some work. <laughs> so um, the bottom line there though is that I'm okay and we have a treatment plan. So no worries there either. So before I pick a winner tonight, and I will pick a winner tonight at seven o'clock p.m. Central Time, okay? So it's pretty soon. <laughs> but before I pick a winner tonight, um, I will post my next giveaway and it will have a whole lot more in it than what you see here. But because I don't want to make that giveaway video super, super long, um, I just wanted to explain a few of the items that I have here. And um, I'll just begin with uh, the fact that April is Autism Awareness Month, and some of us call it Autism Acceptance Month. And as a person with autism, um, autism awareness, autism acceptance is really important to me. So I wanted to explain why I, I'm putting some of these kind of different objects in the giveaway. Um, so first off, I have a really pretty puddle, puzzle here. It's got all of those flowers that we're, we're hoping for in April, and I've, I've been seeing some flowers here now, so we've got all those flowers. So I decided to get a puzzle, and as a reason for the puzzles is because puzzle pieces are associated with people with autism. But I also have seen at a lot of craft places, they always have puzzles there, you know, they, you know, on, I believe it was Hirschner's and Mary Maxim and in craft stores, they've got a puzzle section almost all, all the time. And it's just such a fun thing to do with the family. I didn't want to get a huge one, so I just went ahead and got a 500 piece puzzle. Maybe something for you and your family to do, um, you know, over the holiday weekend, um, if you are in the U.S. and you celebrate uh, Memorial Day, um, something like that, you know, um, just something that would be nice and fun, help the, the family come together. Or if um, you want to do it yourself, that's fine. <laughs> I like I like playing puzzles by myself. But yeah, I, I wanted that. Um, I also added some, some stickers. I just showed you up some, some of them. There's not a whole lot of them, but this one says autism is not a processing error. It's a different operating system. We've got some that don't have any words on them. Autism, seeing the world differently. Um, love needs no words. This is um, a nod towards uh, my, my fellow people with autism who are nonverbal. Um, see the able, not the label. Uh, I love someone with autism. Well, you don't have to love me, but you could say that you love my channel maybe, or that you love yarn. <laughs> um, autism, acceptance, understanding, and love. And then don't, don't judge what you don't understand. I just thought that, I mean, there's just a few stickers I thought might be, it's something that you might want to put on a water bottle or something to start a conversation or maybe not. <laughs> I don't know, but I just wanted to include those. Um, I also got my absolute favorite candles. Um, I had done a video earlier um, in the month about aromatherapy and how much um, I love using aromatherapy. And I had mentioned my can the candles that I love um, that smell like roses. These smell so much like roses. It's ridiculous. It's, it's, it's made with essential oil. 
Um, and what I do is I just buy a pack of <laughs> a pack of these tea lights. I mean, they come in bigger sizes, but I just buy a pack of the tea lights because like one or two of them will last me all month if I if I want to take a nice nice bath by there. Or, I mean, they are very potent. You can you'll definitely smell them. They'll, they'll fill up a room. <laughs> um, and so I wanted to include this because rose is my absolute favorite um, smell or one of them. And I thought that this would be something nice because. Um, with people, people with autism, at least with my um, specific, the way mine um, manifests, is that like my senses are are a little um, either enhanced or are not enhanced <laughs> compared to um, other people's. And so, one of the, my senses that's enhanced is my s sense of smell. Um, and so, I really am very particular about the things that I find pleasant. So, I've got that. I've also decided to add these little fuzzy socks. I know it's in the middle of April. These are not, this is not real fleece, but it's these, these fleece lined socks and and they have little slipper grips. And I understand it's hot outside, it's, it's getting hot outside and all of that. Maybe you guys won't wear these, but I wear these all year. I love the way it feels just to put my foot in one of these. It's just so, so soft. And I just wanted to give um, somebody else that feeling. <laughs> so I tried to get it in a gender neutral color, but it's kind of hard to get something that's um, like this in general neutral. But um, so I have this, all right. And then something that I just absolutely love. These are called hair spirals. Okay, I'm gonna open it up and show you what these do. Okay, so um, you may know that people with autism have like a big trouble with some sensory things, right? Well, one of the things that we really struggle with is um, like ponytail holders and other things that typically um, people use to, to groom themselves like when they're children and all of that kind of stuff. And ponytail holders always really got to me until I started using this these coiled ones. And they don't get stuck in your hair at all. And it doesn't hurt when you have it in your hair, the way that some some um, hair ties can, it just you you just can put your hair up or your friend's hair if you if you don't wear hair coils, <laughs> and it doesn't pull. It feels it doesn't have that 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 strange pressure, you know. And then I also got two totes. One of them's a blue one, giving a nod to the light it up blue for autism awareness. And, and do understand that that can be associated um, with more of the negative sides of the awareness um, as being some, but something that we need to fix, like people with autism, or we need to find a cure, we need to fix them and, and that kind of stuff. And some people with autism say, no, we don't need to be fixed. We need to be accepted for who we are. And so that's why I have Blosa Blue one and a tote that I bought. It's really nice. It's big, you know, it's really big. Well, I'm, I don't think I can demonstrate that it's big, but I can show you that it's not just flat. It's, it's got a little bit of a bottom and it's also big, like tall and everything. And it's real sturdy. And it says in April, we wear red autism acceptance. And it's got the um, spectrum of the colors there and the puzzle pieces and, and everything. I thought that that might be something to start a conversation about how, yes, we need awareness, but we also need to accept that some, some of us, you know, the way that we think, um, maybe it's not typical, but maybe it can, um, maybe it's more of a gift that we think differently and that's not so bad, you know, that kind of thing. And then of course, how could I not include this um, rainbow looking cotton king that, that I got from Hobie. I mean, it's so beautiful. And so I'm going to be including this. And the reason I have this yarn up here and not the other stuff is that I wanted to let you guys know it's because of the spectrum um, in this rainbow yarn, okay? So there's probably some other things that I'm gonna be including that are either red or blue, and it's for that purpose, but I'm not gonna be talking about autism on my video where I talk about the, um, the giveaway because I don't want to kind of push this into people's faces if they don't wanna hear it. <laughs> and also because it would just make things way too long. So this video is just to kind of give you a preview of what's going to be up later when I put up my next giveaway and also to explain some of the more different things. Now I've got a lot more yarn. I've got some, I've got some more coloring books. I've got 
all sorts of stuff, okay? <laughs> the typical stuff that I have um, that I put in these giveaways is going to be up here, okay? So this isn't everything. This is just some of the things that I wanted to explain now and uh, give you a little bit of a preview, answer your questions. Thank you so much for joining me. I will see you later when I pick the winner.